Two on the pole out of Rutland, Vermont. The 14 car will be C.G. Morey to the right side of him. Hollywood Craig Mitchell in car number 93. Second row, spot three. L.J. Lombardo aboard the 35. Entry to the right side, spot number four, belongs to Kirk Horton in the 7K. Third row, spot number five, the racing plumber from here in Middletown. The Todd Lyons paving car. This is the 88 of Steve Dodd. Dodd's running mate will be the 55 car, the lovely Allison Ricky. Fourth row, spot number seven, Sammy Mart Sr. aboard the 3M machine. To the right of Sammy Martz from Brisbane, Australia, the 21A car, Batman Peter Britton. Fifth row, spot number nine from Ole, Dwayne Howard, the Allsdorf Farms, number 8A car. Alongside him is spot 10, Big Brother, Bob McGann in car number 21. Sixth row, spot 11, the 28 car, Jimmy Spellman. Alongside Jimmy, the M1 car of Jimmy, of Jimmy Marr. Seventh row, spot number 13, the 43 of Kirk Anison. See who answers the call right now. Twelve of the 13 cars have answered the call. For the second edition of the Last Chance Qualifiers event for the Big Block Modifieds, three more cars will go to the tailside start of the 200, of course, $500 just to take the green out here this afternoon. Not too shabby at all for an Eastern States run. Just 500 bucks just to make the green. So last, uh, last spot, starting spot, paying $500 to the tail end of the field to guarantee at least a nominal paycheck for making a start out here in the... Uh, 200 lap classic this afternoon. C.G. Borey out of Rutland, Vermont, the Crash Palace car, the 55 year old body shop owner, with both a big block and a small block modified here this Eastern States weekend. Craig Mitchell out of Wappinger Falls, Hollywood Craig, the Goose Town Communications car, dropping the green flag, they go to work. L.J. Lombardo, the ultimate restoration. Paul Wenow, snap on tools, car captain Kirk, way up on the outside, takes a shortcut down Wisner Avenue and finds himself in a starting spot for the 200. Kirk Horton down the back straightaway, drops it down in line on the inside of C.G. Morey, but then here comes the number 3J car back up to the outside. Of the 35, that is, of Lombardo. Lombardo back up into the mix right now. He tussles back down on the inside, swap lanes down the home straightaway. Lombardo is back in the mix, but Captain Kirk Horton wants to fight for that number three spot. Works around the outside. Beep, beep, bye, bye. He's back in the lineup again. Captain Kirk Horton. Horton out of Eldred, New York. Long-time driver here at the Orange County Fair Speedway. 55-year-old pilot in the Black Bear Fuel Oil number uh, 7K car. He'll work it back in spot number three. He's got LJ Lombardo right there in the mix for spot number four. Peter Britton back there in spot number five right now. Then Allison Ricky's down to the inside, battling with Britton for the number five spot. But here comes L.J. Lombardo. Lombardo on the top side of them all. Down the back straight away. Craps back to the number three spot and says, thank you very much, Mr. Horton. Kirk Horton losing two spots down the back straight away. Lombardo works to the outside for spot number three back there. But now he's going to have Peter Britton to deal with. The rider racing number 21 car, Peter Britton from Brisbane, Australia, in the Troyer Hot Rod, working up to the tail side of L.J. Lombardo, the Peter Wenow, snap-on tools, number 35 machine. Lombardo works to the outside of C.G. Bory. spot number two going up for grabs right now. Who will be the high bidder? It looks like Lombardo works to the rim shot down into turn number four. Here's the outside lane that everybody loves at the Orange County Speedway. The outside lane is alive and well this Saturday afternoon. A drag race out of turn number two. It involves Lombardo on the outside. And C.G. Morey to the inside. Lombardo grabs the number two spot away. Now C.G. Morey's in the hot seat, but quickly by him goes Peter Britton. Britton's on the outside of the halfway point. Four laps down, four to go, and it's a great tussle back there for spots number two and three. Lombardo into the number two spot. Britton down to the inside. Peter Britton washes up to the outside, opens up the lane for C.G. Morey. Morey cannot find the shackles to try and complete the act on a turn number two that time. It's going to be Lombardo for the number two spot. And here comes Batman Britton into the number three place battle. He's on the outside, but caution, lights fly on the speedway. Bob McGann in trouble on the outside of turn number two. Uh, yellow lights are on. Bob McGinn in the Schultz Ford 21 car came to a, a sudden stop down there in turn number two, brought the yellow lights on the speedway. Race is three laps old, three down, five to go. Mitchell, who's led since the drop of the green, holds on to the number one spot. But boy, I'll tell you what, it has been a dogfight from there on back. L.J. Lombardo started third, now running in second. Peter Britton, who started eighth, is up to the number three spot. C.G. Morey running in spot number four. Allison Ricky is fifth. Kirk Horton, sixth. Steve Dodd, seventh. Sammy Martz, senior, is eighth. Dwayne Howard following suit for spot number nine. Followed by Kenny Anderson. And now Bob McGannon. Caution lights remain on. 
Well, it might be a tailside spark, but it's still worth at least $500 out here this afternoon. Drivers hungry for a paycheck this 59th annual Eastern States Racing Weekend. C.G. Mori running in the number four spot. Did not have the opportunity to call Orange County as a regular Saturday night home this past year, but he had done in the previous three seasons, 2017, 18, and 19. We've got five laps to go right now. Pole sitter's option as to which lane of that front row you'd like to restart in. And Craig Mitchell says, I feel good on the outside. He's got his groove on out here this Saturday afternoon. Obstacle racing in the outside of row number one. So he slides to the right side of the front pew. And he will deliver this sermon at the drop of the green from right that spot. Pace truck to the inside. Here we come. Out of turn number four right now. Green flag flies. Hammers go down. And Lombardo quick to the punch. Lombardo takes the snap on tools. 35 car. Way up the banking they go. Bottom side's right open. Here comes Allison Ricky. Ricky puts her nose down to the inside. The Halmar 55 car is alive back there in slot number four. Peter Britton makes a move to the high side on Craig Mitchell and Allison Ricky. She'll try to work to the inside lane down at a turn number four this time. Allison Ricky wants a starting lineup spot in the 200 here tonight. 26-year-old school bus driver from New Paltz, New York. The bottom side is all hers right now as she goes drag racing with Peter Britton in the 21A car. Britton says, what? No, you don't. Comes back down to close the gap and hold on to the final ticket to the big show. Now Britton steps back up to the outside. Wheel to wheel, he races with Hollywood Mitchell for the number two spot. Side by side for spot number two. Lombardo way up on the upside. Lombardo holds on to the number one position. Britton right back there in second. Here comes Allison. She'll put her nose down on the inside. And she goes racing for spot number three. Ricky is in the starting lineup. Allison Ricky, third generation of the Ricky Racing family here at the Orange County Speedway. If she can hold on to that number three place real estate, she'll be in the starting lineup for the Eastern States 200. Meanwhile, Britton goes to work on closing the gap on LJ Lombardo. Lombardo slides wide. What, baby, baby, here's the fight for spot number one. Peter Britton's on the inside right now, and Britton, now your new race leader down the back straight away. Peter Britton holds on to the number one spot, putting Lombardo second. Allison Ricky is third, and here comes Dwayne Howard. Howard wants a starting lineup in the feature event. White flag flies back there in spot. Number four, as Dwayne Howard, who started the tail side, Takes the Alsdorf Farms number eight car into the number four spot, but he may run out of time. A hard luck move right now for Dwayne Howard out of Ole, Pennsylvania. Penzi small block hot shoe as the checkered flag flies going to the 200 lap feature event. The winner, Batman, Peter Britton. Uh, second spot is LJ Lombardo. Third spot, Allison Ricky is in the feature event with the Halmar 55 car. Tough break for uh, Dwayne Howard, missing it by a couple of feet. Boy, I'll tell you something. I was up talking to some of the guys up at the wall. This is a racy track, and this race just proved it. Eight to first for Australian Peter Britton. Boy, I can't believe that. You picked up seven spots to get the win. How's the racetrack? Yeah, um, you know, it was a little, little down the dumps this morning after being pretty ordinary last night. And, uh, you know, thankfully I got some good people around me that, uh, you know, we all put our heads together and we worked on the car. And I think I kind of took a look at my driving too. And, uh, yeah, you know, we were good out there. We made the show, so pretty happy about that. And, uh, you know, I just want to thank Ryder Racing, uh, Troy Race Cars, Penske Shocks, everyone that's involved in you know, helping me get there, and uh, you know, we're in the show, we'll see what happens. The former Australian modified champ in the show, picked up seven spots to get it. Tim? 